In this video, I'm going to give you five tips for profitable flash loans. I'm going to tell you from my experience as a blockchain developer who's done arbitrage, you know, built trading bots, done yield farming. I'm going to share all my secrets in this video. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And in case you missed the announcement last week, don't forget the trading bot masterclass is coming up on Wednesday, September 23rd. So if you want to learn how to use flash loans to build your own trading bot, then click the link down below to sign up today. So really quickly, like what are flash loans? Well, this is basically where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, a blockchain like Ethereum, for example, is made up of transactions. So basically, like if I send cryptocurrency from my account to yours, like just some Ether, just some basic cryptocurrency, that is a transaction. That's a very simple transaction. Now, Ethereum also supports complex transactions where you can do multiple steps inside the transaction. And that's how these flash loans work. So basically, you can borrow money, uh, you know, do something with it and make a profit, okay, and then pay it back in the exact same step. And there's lots of different ways to do that. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in tip number one. So in the first tip, I'm going to give you some different ideas on how you can actually make money with flash loans. So the first one is arbitrage trading. This is probably the most popular, okay? So this is basically where you detect price discrepancies on cryptocurrency exchanges, and you take advantage of those opportunities with flash loans. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically, let's say you have two different cryptocurrency exchanges, like exchange A and exchange B, and the uh, cryptocurrency is $100 on exchange A and it's $101 on exchange B. Well, you can basically take advantage of this price discrepancy, buy it for $100 on exchange A and then sell it for $101 on exchange B. And the beauty of flash loans is that you don't even have to own this cryptocurrency in order to perform the arbitrage. You can just borrow it uh, and then you know sell it at a profit and do that all inside the same transaction with a flash loan. And you do this with smart contracts. So these cryptocurrency exchanges are, are decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges that live on the blockchain. And you can borrow the money with a flash loan from one smart contract, perform the trade on the first exchange, perform the trade on the second exchange, and then pay it back to the uh, flash loan provider all in the same transaction. And there's lots of different ways to do this. You know, you can write your own custom smart contracts to do this. Uh, you can use an app like Furo Combo, for example. I've done a video that, about that on my channel where you can just do flash loans without coding. Uh, or you can, you know, take this to the next level and actually create your own trading bots that look for these arbitrage opportunities and then call the smart contracts. And that's exactly the strategy that I'm going to go over inside the trading bot masterclass uh, coming up in a couple weeks. So make sure you click the link down below to sign up. So the next way to profit with flash loans is with leverage yield farming. Okay, so yield farming is a really hot craze right now, or they call liquidity mining, where basically, you know, you put tokens into these protocols, into these liquidity pools, and you earn new tokens for doing this. So this is Compound Finance, which is a you know, decentralized application, it's a blockchain based app. It's a, it's a money market. So you can supply uh, money here and earn interest on your deposit, or you can also borrow money and pay a fee for doing that, right? So um, basically, when you use Compound right now, you get this interest uh, right here for your deposit, but you also get an additional reward, which is their native comp token, all right, for doing this. And that's the liquidity mining that I'm talking about. So, you know, you can uh, earn some uh, comp tokens for doing that. Like if you pull up a calculator on this like predictions.exchange, you can see that if you supply like, you know, 100 die to the protocol, then you will uh, earn, let's see here, uh, you know, like 1248 in comp tokens. So you'll get like a 12% APY for doing that. If you combine the die amount plus the comp amount, but what you can do is you can also take flash loans and increase your exposure. So you can basically like, instead of providing, uh, you know, a hundred die, you can borrow, you can provide somewhere closer to like 300 die and then, you know, do a flash loan for like 200 die and then earn a much higher APY on that. So basically you'd only be risking $100 and you would have a net APY of about 50% instead of 12%. And so that's not the exact math, but that's a rough idea of how it works. And that's how you can use flash loans to leverage your exposure in liquidity mining and do this leverage yield farming that I'm talking about to increase the profitability of that. All right, the last one is liquidation. So this is basically where you close out people's delinquent 
uh, positions on different platforms. So in any of these protocols like uh, Aave or Compound, where you have to borrow money, like you also have to provide a collateral to do this. And a lot of times the collateral position is larger than the debt position. And the same thing for any of the like, uh, you know, leverage trading platforms, you have to deposit some sort of collateral in order to trade on leverage. Okay. And so anytime that your debt gets too big, like you're delinquent and you're able to get liquidated. Okay. And so you can basically like look for these liquidation opportunities and use flash loans to process them. And you'll get a reward for doing this and the platform will get their uh, money back. And so you can use flash loans to process these liquidations as well. So the next tip is that you don't always have to do big flash loans. So it's pretty awesome that you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with these flash loans, but you don't always need to, right? Just because you can doesn't mean you should or that you, you'll be able to actually use that amount of money. So you definitely can. I mean, you could t take six and seven figure flash loans out and make a big profit, but you might get outrun by other people. I'll talk about that here in a more, more in a minute. But the whole point is that you can do smaller flash loans that actually yield profits like in, in like a few thousand dollars or something like that. I'll pull up an example here. So this is a flash loan that was only for like, it, it only dealt with a few thousand dollars of cryptocurrency and it resulted in a, a smaller profit after gas fees. So you might say, okay, great. You know, you make a really small profit on a flash loan, big deal. But the whole point is like, what if you can do that multiple times? What if you can do it, you know, 10 times per day? What if you can make a $50 profit 10, 10 times per day or a $10 profit 10 times per day, 100 times per day, right? Or a thousand times per day. Especially when you're talking about automation, this becomes more of a viable strategy. And the whole idea is that you would create like a, a bot that looks for these opportunities and makes more smaller trades rather than like trying to find this one big fish where you might make a giant amount of profit in one single trade. So the next tip is that if you're going to build an arbitrage bot with flash loans, then you want to start with price discovery. So what do I mean by that? Well, in order to build you know, a bot that does this, it has two parts. Uh, basically, it's going to have uh, one bot that looks for opportunities. All right, this is going to be some sort of script or server or something like that. And then you're going to have a smart contract that actually executes the arbitrage, okay? This is how you do complex transactions is you have to use this smart contract and hook into the flash loan protocol. So this part uh, where you have this bot that you know sits there and looks for opportunities, it's gonna call this smart contract and trigger, one whenever, trigger it whenever a flash loan is found. So if you're gonna try to build one of these bots, I highly recommend on focusing on this part first because uh, you don't wanna code the smart contract before you even know that the opportunity exists. So basically, you want to try to find a bot that can surface profitable opportunities on a regular basis and then customize a smart contract that will execute that particular strategy. Because you don't want to do the smart contract first because you don't necessarily know that, you don't know that the arbitrage opportunities will pop up that will actually accommodate that strategy. So the next tip is to avoid front running, okay? So what do I mean by this? Well, basically, whenever you're doing arbitrages, you're probably gonna encounter other people who are looking at the same opportunities as you or they like detect that you were going after these opportunities and they're just getting in front of your trades. So this is definitely one of the harder parts about this, and you really have two options. One, you can try to either outcompete them, which basically means you need a much faster Ethereum node. Uh, you need to basically find the opportunities on the blockchain before they do and probably pay a much higher gas cost and really fine tune things so that you're literally first. Or you can just avoid these opportunities and look for different ones. And that's the strategy that I've personally done. And that's what I would recommend as well. So basically, I would just look for strategies that no one else is actively going after or where you can actually be competitive, right? I mean, we're starting to see more and more opportunities all the time, okay? Because the number of decentralized exchanges on Ethereum is just going up, all right? It seems like I'm literally seeing new DEXs every single month come out, okay? And literally new tokens are coming out every single week. So if you combine all of the cryptocurrencies, all the tokens on top of Ethereum, all the different DEXs that are out there, you can, you know, mix and match these different combinations to create an arbitrage strategy that someone else probably isn't trying, okay? So that's what I personally do is just avoid the front runners and try new combinations of tokens that other people aren't arbing yet. So the last tip is to factor in gas fees whenever you're doing these flash loans, especially if you're talking about arbitrage, okay? Because sometimes you can see an arbitrage opportunity where, you know, you buy a cryptocurrency for $100 on one exchange and sell it for $101 on a different exchange, but the gas fees, you know, might be higher 
and just completely kill your profit, okay? So you need to factor that in. Basically, whenever you make transactions on the Ethereum network, you have to pay gas fees with Ether, the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain. Whenever you do that, you know, it's an additional expense to your trade. And this trade that I showed you earlier is still profitable even with the gas fee that you see here. So you need to factor that in whenever you're going to do a flash loan. You have to basically calculate the uh, difference and then add in the gas fee and make sure that the trade is still profitable even after that. And this has been challenging because the gas fees in the Ethereum network have gotten really high. Uh, it's kind of funny because as I'm looking at this, like right now, 93 GUE seems kind of low because last week it was like 450 GUE, but I'm still able to do profitable opportunities even with these gas conditions. It's basically just that you have to uh, wait to find trades that are profitable even in these conditions. And so you have to like up your threshold for profitability and factor that in with gas prices. So it gets harder as gas goes up, but the opportunities still exist. So those are my five tips for profitable flash loans. So there's all different ways you can make money with flash loans. You know, these are some tips on how you can do it. So I hope you like this video. Again, smash the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't forget, the Trading Bot Masterclass is coming up on Wednesday, September 23rd. So make sure you sign up with the link down below if you haven't already, all right? That's gonna show you how to build your own trading bot to use flash loans to perform these profitable arbitrages, okay? Until then, you know, if you wanna jump ahead and like, you know, up your blockchain developer skills, how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my uh, free courses there that like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You can get started on one of those, learn Solidity, learn how to build your own Ethereum application. And if you like those videos and you wanna take the next step, or hey, Maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely. Then I can show you how to build a real world blockchain based application, a DeFi app over at uh, dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project, you know, whatever. All right. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.